Well, good morning, everybody. How you doing? <laughs> Your buddy Reezy here. It's uh, Saturday morning. I got the weekend off. I'm going to go ahead and play with some dirt. What I got here is uh, some uh, pay dirt from I Pan for Gold down there in Georgia. And the uh, name of this uh, pay dirt here is a uh, a placer miner's dream. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, uh, many of us placer miners have always dreamed of having a real golden pan. Well, let's go ahead. I dumped the whole damn thing in it. <laughs> I shook it up. I thought I'd seen a couple of little sparklies in there. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna dump the whole damn thing in there. We're gonna pan her down. I'll probably get majority off in this really big pan probably get the majority of the material out of it and when I get down to the bottom I'll probably switch over to my little blue pan that I like for I like it a little bit better for the final stages and everything so without much further ado let's go ahead and uh, let's give it a shake and start jiggling out some dirt huh I got some nice warm water here got some nice warm water plenty of jet dry I'm obviously going to have to redo this just, just again, you know, just take a look at it later. But for the purpose of this video, I wanted to take and put the whole dang thing in there. <laughs> it might be a little bit of a challenge for me. <laughs> this right here would be a pretty dang big shovel full. I'm going to have to put that dang cigarette down there two hands of this section here. We're going to have to use two hands here. I might even do that. Which way is going to be the best way to do this here? Pull it off until I start seeing a lot of the blacks. And back off. And shake, give her a shake again. Yeah. And just pull that material right on down over the edge here. Some of that top off of it. Keep shaking it all to the bottom. I've actually been in the creek a couple of times and before I had a whole bunch of the other equipment with a great big gold pan, you know, like the this one here. I've used this one quite a few times. And I also used that uh, the Garrett Super Sluice a few times. But the Garrett Super Sluice, now that's a heavy gold pan. That's a great gold pan, you know, especially for doing what I'm doing right now when you got a whole bunch of dirt. But it doesn't really fit too good for me. I like these, uh, I like these uh, Pioneer pans. Um, a few different companies make them. But they've got uh, a larger set of riffles and then a smaller set of riffles. I like a round pan. I've tried to square pan, but again, it's just something, I guess, you know, gold pans are going to be one of those things that's to each his own. <coughs> Pulling off 
that top layer. Now if I had a bigger tub I could probably be working a little faster than what I'm working right now but since this is my normal tub I use all the time it'll work just fine for today. Now I will say that I actually have ran every bit of this already. I have ran it once before. Actually I didn't really so much run it as my brother did. He came up here and we had a whole week's worth of some extreme body work on heavy equipment and since he's so much better well he's dealt longer with heavy equipment than I have and I needed an extra pair of hands to do it so we'd work all day and you know when we come home wanted something fun to do and it just the timing was just absolutely perfect that uh, a little bit of pay dirt here showed up right when uh, my brother would be in town so since he lives down at Wrangell, Wrangell Island really has no gold it's always nice for him to come up here whenever he comes up here it's always nice for me and him to get together somewhere somehow and do some kind of playing with gold you know when you live in Alaska and you finally get a little bit of the gold bug itch and then you're living in a town in Alaska with no gold it's a lot more fun to get out there and play around and have a brother or a good friend that you can hang out with and if they're in that gold bearing town to play with some gold. Boy, a lot of black sands in this. But a lot of lights too. Nice quartz. A lot of nice quartz in this. Now I've gotten to about half of it's missing now. I think about half of it, or at least a third. The gold pan is definitely getting lighter. <coughs> See, no color show up just yet. We got a long ways to go though. Real pretty mica in here. A beautiful piece of mica right there. Always watch your material. You know, get you some good lighting. <laughs> put put on your glasses <laughs> if you need them. <laughs> Take your time, enjoy it. <sighs> Get comfortable if you can. Ah. Now that it's a little lighter, I can kind of manhandle this a little bit better. Actually, I'm dang tempted to go ahead and switch it over to the other pan now. Yeah, we go. We'll go a few more runs with this. Pull it back to the bottom. Make certain you get all your material back down off the riffles and get it back down to the bottom of the pan. Give her a few shakes. The more you shake it like that right there, the more your lighter blondes and stuff are going to float up to the top. So many of the people on the, <coughs> they always call it stratifying a material. It's a big word for me, to tell you the truth. What it means, what it means to me is, get your light rocks on the top, get your heavy rocks on the bottom. Heavy rocks being gold, lead. Your light ones being the micas and uh, your quartz. Some of your various other rocks and minerals. Well, most of your minerals are going to be heavy. That's why they say, you know, everybody's saying, well, how come old Todd Hoffman couldn't get the diamonds down there? Well, the diamond ain't heavy. Diamond don't work worth a dang in a sluice box. It's too light. It'll float right out. You got to have one of them screens and a darn good eyeball to see those diamonds. 
go ahead and change this over to the other pan. It's time. Let's keep my pretty rock out there. <coughs> need, I'm gonna need me a little squirty bottle or something. Be right back. The elixir of the gods, coffee. <laughs> oh, this is more like it. Now I got, now I got a happy gold pan. Right, let's get a couple of these big rocks out of here. A couple of big rocks. Ooh, big old rock. Same little piece of gold. <coughs> How about bring this camera in a little closer view so we can get a better view of this, huh? How about we do that? Let's reposition the camera just a little bit better. A little bit better close up here. Not make it, dog got it. Better hurry up. Now, if this was a shovel full of dirt out there in the creek, this would be a plaster miner's dream pan. Okay, let's spin her over here to the little riffles. Shake it all back down to the bottom. <laughs> Look at that gold. <laughs> oh, God, I love it. <laughs> A few more big rocks to get loose here. Oh, look at that big gold nugget trying to float down the hill. You see that? That gold is sticking there, there and all the rest of that material is getting down the bottom. See, that's a rock. That right, right there is a rock. It's wanting to move before that gold's moving. See that? You guys see that? Oh, now that big nugget's wanting to move. I'll turn it one more time here. Let's go all the way over the fine edge. Let's pull off that black sand. How about we do that?
Wow. <laughs> ah, now that's a way to get your weekend Saturday morning started with some coffee. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's give that a little swirl here and take a look at that. <laughs> hey, thumbs up, <high>, man. <laughs> From Op and for gold. <laughs> Later, guys. Good morning. <laughs> All right. It's a Friday night. Friday night. Party, 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 party. Friday night. Friday night. Go rise. Go rise. I got my kick ass brother with me. We're up from Wrangell. And we are running some. Christmas cons from my buddy Michael over MDV, Mr. MDV himself from I Pan for Gold. He's Georgia Dude. Georgia Dude's a good dude. You guys want the good dude? There it is right there. So we ran a couple uh, pans last night. Look at there. Two pans. Now this is the Placer Dreams. Maybe just a little bit nicer, but. His typical Placer Dreams shipment. And this one right here. So, now we're, I'm also refining some gold out there. So, I kind of had to wait till later on in the night before I got to actually pan some gold during Friday night. But, we're going to pan some gold on a Friday night. And I'm just dying to see some more beautiful gold footage. Woohoo! Okay, let me... Try to pay attention to what I'm doing. How much? How much do I own? Run? How about that much right there? Oh yeah. There we go. Let's see what we get out of that. Be back in a minute. Cat pen number three. Look at there. Right there. Look at there. Come on, focus it in camera. Right there. It already popped up. Look at that little one little piece right there. God. We got dirty dirt and gold. One no piece. I still got that much more to go. You got to have the eyeball when you're painting for gold. Look at it. Pay attention. Otherwise, you're going to miss it. Holy shit, look at that. What are you looking at? Look at look what's coming up. What are you looking at? Look at it. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you just washed you out. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Where's the camp? Where's a good color angle? <laughs> There's a good color angle. Will you look at that? Holy shit. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Advertising moment. Advertising moment. Where's it at? Where's the advertising moment? The Placer Dream. I pan for gold. The Placer's Dream. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey, you want to buy some date? <laughs> now that's painting for gold. <laughs> that's where the other treasure box. Oh, buddy. We're going to clean this out and I'm going to let Rabbit pin some more gold. See what happens. Put any more of them twigs? Twigs? No twigs. Salamanders? I watch out all the snakes and scorpions. Oh, oh, oh man. This George's got dangerous, dangerous babies. Well, they were hiding. <laughs> they were poison snakes. <laughs> well, they were hiding. They were poison. Poison snakes. Oh. 
dirty. We're going to get the gold, man. Go ahead and pick your nose on TV. Go oh, ahead, he's cool, man. <laughs> yeah, you, oh, boys, man. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, low class, pick my ass. <laughs> hey, the Larry the Cable guy would do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, so I'll be picking me <laughs> Hey, you know, if you can't have for no fun, what the hell you doing it boy? <laughs> you get to be comfortable. <laughs> Come on, get down there to that goal. Where, where did shine is? Easy, don't pressure. No pressure. No pressures. I got me a garnet. <laughs> oh, you got a garnet. Ooh. Tell you, MDV's got some cool dirt to pan. This is good stuff. Indian River, 40, 50, to stay on track. Might be getting down there. Oh, he's going to get down to the spectacles. Yeah, my spectacles. The Eureka moment requires the spectacles. In case I can actually see something. <laughs> it sucks to get old, Gribbits. Oh, there it is. Oh, there. Where, where? Oh, there it is. Taint shit. There it is. You see it? In that back top corner over there. Come on, camera. Focus in. Hold still, Robert. There it is. You can see it. The battery about that. Oh, man. There it is. Record. Bam! God! Oh, what do we got? Rabbits! Rabbits! Looks like just a wee little speck. Oh, is that big? Pick it up. Pick it up. From sourcing a channel. Do it. <laughs> oh, beautiful, beautiful. Wait, the money! Money is... Ooh, nice shape to it. That's kind of cool looking. Son of a bitch, look at that. Hot damn!